doctor that. Yeah. So back to the Nimbus, Jelani's going to go ahead and talk about uh, Nimbus here. So this has a capacity, a tank capacity, you can put about four and a half, five gallons of water in here. And the uh, load capacity for the dry ice is about 10 pounds. You can use a blackout ice, you can use pellets. Doesn't matter, you have to fill it up with the water, you put the dry ice in it, and there's a lever that's right here. So once it says that it's ready, you'll pull the lever and it has two, it has two levels. You know, if you drop it down one level, give you that effect there. Or, or, or if you want more, if you want more, you just drop it all the way down. Now, one of the one of the things you're going to get venues saying, "No, we cannot smoke in our facility." You're not going to set off any fire alarms unless their smoke detectors are in the ground. Exactly. It's not going to get what you see right there. It's not going to get higher than four feet. It's not going to get higher than three feet. That right there, because you, you think about temperatures in the air. Heat rises. This is so cool that it just it sticks to the ground, and that's because of the cold ice. Well, that's so heavy. In the Germany, front row right here. Hey, have you ever had somebody like, like say have grandma come back from using the restroom? Oh my God, where's the fire alarm? Yeah. No. no. <laughs> Can we throw a chunk of dry ice in the hot tub? I wouldn't uh, take that. Yeah. 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 A wide coverage, and certain certain people like to, you know, they ask, you know, can we connect tubes to it? You know, you certainly can. Um, certain people use dryer hoses, which this is the standard size. This is standard size for a dryer hose. Can you go ahead and turn the lights off again for us? Yeah, we're real needy. I'm guessing these are hard to get around Halloween. Woo! Yeah. Halloween. So when you add a, a lighting effect into it, you're illuminating the clouds. If you try and put this into the into the cloud, you're going to lose it because it's basically diffusing the light and it's not going anywhere. So if you do use a Nimbus, use a, you know, use something that's going to actually create the lighting effect from the top view and illuminate your clouds that way. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. When I first when I first got my Nimbus, I was putting color strips all around the dance floor and. I wasn't getting anything out of it because the uh, the cloud actually um, took away the effect for me. So always shoot your clouds from the top so that way you get the full illumination out of it.